Sean Oakman, the former Baylor University football player accused of sexual assault, found not guilty by a jury less than an hour ago here in McLennan County. This after two days of testimony and multiple attempts to get the trial dismissed. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza live outside the McLennan County Courthouse with today's developments. Leslie Robert, an emotional day today for Sean Oakman as well as his family. When the verdict was read, you could see them yelling and, and getting very emotional, crying. Tears were flowing. But during those two days, we heard from witness from 14 witnesses who went over the events that happened on April 3rd, 2016. And tonight the jury had to consider not whether the sexual act happened, but whether it was consensual. The day started with the state's last witness, Dr. William Carter, a psychologist who said rape victims use dissociation to cope with something traumatic, adding it's a way to get through the moment, confirming how the woman said she was zoning out during the sexual act. Dr. Carter also spoke about consent, saying no means no, and if it meant yes yesterday, that doesn't mean it will mean yes today or tomorrow. After the state rested, the defense called several witnesses, including two of Sean Oakman's friends who were with him on April 3rd, 2016. The friends confirmed the woman wanted to go home with him the night of the alleged sexual assault, saying she went voluntarily and even texted her friends to go home without her. DNA analyst Brett Watson also took the stand, confirming that during the woman's buckle swab, they found Oakman's DNA inside her mouth, specifically his semen. Another expert, Richard Connor, a digital forensics analyst, told the jury the woman deleted text messages with Oakman asking him to meet her at the nightclub. During closing arguments, the state told the jury to consider Oakman's height and size and that he is capable of carrying out a threat. They also asked the jury if consensual sex caused the several injuries the woman had. Why would anyone ever have sex? The defense pointed out inconsistencies in the woman's testimony about the events that unfolded that night, adding both of them were together because they wanted to be. Now, minutes ago, we did speak to Sean Oakman after the verdict was read. Here's what he had to say about what's next for him. They slander my name. They fire my coach. And I felt like all that, all that was on me. I was a leader of the of Beller of Waco, of the community that I was in. And they took us down from the top. They took the best player off the field. They took the best coach out of the Big 12. And that's how they did it. And we, we come in for everything. We come to get everything back. Now again, after two days of testimony, the jury found former Baylor University football player Sean Oakman not guilty of sexual assault. Now he says that now that his name is clear, he will pursue a career in the NFL. Live in Waco, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.